Hello, City Skylines fans. Soxway Up is back with episode five of Chillhorn Season 2, a beginner's let's play guide type thing that we're doing here. And today's episode, we're going to be focused on our first city park. Before we get into that, last episode, I talked about building things off camera and updating you before we dive into the topic of the day. So you can see if you've been following this series, things have changed. It looks a lot different. Let's start off by looking at what we did with the industry area. We do have it up to five star all the way up we have over 14,000 per produce resource units and over a thousand workers and if you look at the profit it jumps up to about 8,000 every once in a while of course now that i started the video it dropped down to 2500 but the reason why the profit is so large is because of our bakery the bakery is up and running creating pastries every time this thing fills up we get a huge bump of income you can see we're almost to half a million 6,000, 9,000, that just jumped up because of the profit here, 6,900, loving it. So you can see, oh, we have some crime going on. We redesigned it a lot and we talked about the supply chain early on and I finally finished that. So we got the buildings with all the crops in the back here. We added some of the medium sized ones as well as adding some more of the smaller ones. But then that leads over to all the buildings that need to utilize the crops. So we have the traffic kind of flowing from, let's call this north to south. So it goes to the flour mill, the, the, the animal products getting produced, uh, the slaughterhouse that we have over here needs some crops as well. So you, 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 lead, you start up here, you drive down here, and then maybe one truck drives from here down to here as well. So it should help with the traffic and just makes sense to me to have things start up at the top and work their way down instead of traffic crossing back and forth. Um, I love it. I love the way it's turned out. We utilized the space pretty well, and it was kind of what I was thinking when I first started, but finally, you know, sucked it up and finished the design of it. I do need to, I do want to do some more tree detailing, which we'll probably do off camera as well. But let's jump back over to this area that we finished. Looks like crime. We're going to have to focus on that today. Maybe a little bit. But we finished filling in some more residential and some of the commercial that hugs this highway because we wanted to make sure the I guess I didn't really go into that, but if we talk about the noise pollution, if I can find that one, you can see there's a lot of noise pollution from the highway and then a little bit less in the residential area. And so we wanted to separate the noise from the highway to the residential area. And we put some commercial buildings, even though they add some noise pollution, we don't have anyone really complaining about that. So this whole section here is very new as well. Um, there's some areas that aren't really utilized really great. Um, I did mean to zone all of that and we didn't. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was a spoiler. You see, that was that was a mistake. Let's go ahead and unzone that. We do not want high density right there. Ooh, spoilers. So let's get that zoned and right here. I guess that tells you right away. We uh, we got well over 6,000 people in the city, almost almost 7,000 just by expanding this area and all the buildings leveling up. Uh, but that's come out pretty nice. We also added in all of this commercial here. And let's pause the game and take a look at what changed since last episode. We unlocked Busy Town, 4,000. That unlocks some city planning policies. We get some more uh, services with some of the unique buildings and trolley buses, oil industry specialty, tourism, which we'll get to later on, a lot of new policies that we could use, some new pretty roads that we'll want to upgrade to eventually, toll or trolley roads for their buses, hospitals, some more parks, bigger fire stations, very cool. A lot of the parks that I wanted to get unlocked for this episode were unlocked, but also we did Big Town, another area that we'll get to expand to. We could do campus areas, taxation policies. Again, campus areas are the new services. We have a blimp, inner city buses we could do, IT clusters, leisure specialty, all kinds of new policies that we could enforce. If we do any of those, we will go over them at that point. The big thing that this does unlock is the high density residential zones. Wow, a lot happened while I was just building this small area and redoing the industry. I kept getting pop-ups and I was like, oh no, I wanted to show this in the videos, but it is what it is. We got plenty that we can still do. Uh, let's, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna decide later if we wanna zone all that residential or, or what, but 
Today's focus is going to be this big square we left unlocked for a park. We're going to do a little bit of planning for that and get right into it. Thanks for joining so far. Let's get right into this park, this city park. So it's similar to the Industries DLC that we did earlier where we went into the district and areas and we found the specific, what is this called? District painting tool, the specific painting tool for Industries there. This one we're gonna do park area. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that and we're going to select this or highlight and fill in this entire square here. Olive Gardens. All right. And so the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to go over to the Parks and Plazas menu and we're going to find our city park section. You need a, we need a main gate and that unlocks the entire, that starts unlocking the level one buildings for us, which gives us the side gate, the park plaza, the info booth, restrooms and cafes. And then we also have these small side gates, but that's the main gate. Here's the side gate that I like to line up with intersections as much as possible. And if we had to move it, we'd put it right in between those two, but we do not. So we will just put them as close as possible as we get some side gates going here, which will make people happy as this park starts to grow. But some of the things I had in mind here were, we're not gonna worry about this one becoming level five. We're going to use some of the park, city park uh, city park features, and then we're going to use some of just the vanilla game features to make this park what we want. We are going to use the decorated paths to kind of connect all of our side gates. So let's go, let's go a little curvage here, and we're going to come around up to about up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, that's not what we want to do. Let's let's go at this angle. This might help. So we'll go here and start. Actually, let's build this one straight for a little bit, which will help with what we're trying to do. Do like up, up to here and so. And then this one, we're just gonna bring in straight like that. And this one, we're gonna bring in about right to there. And then we'll do a little curve like that. So that gives us a little bit of a park area, but that's not all. So let's start with the plaza. So we're going to put a little bit of the parks DLC stuff in here. What I like to do is I like to find the info booth and I like to think of this realistically and put it real close to the main gate. So we're going to throw that there. Then we're going to grab restrooms and we're going to go men's restroom, women's restroom. And then we're gonna grab the cafe. We're gonna put it next to the info booth. And so that creates this like main entrance to this where a lot, everything you need, your restrooms, you can get some food, you can get all the information you need, and then you get into the actual park. And so right now, the only real building that we do have unlocked is that plaza. So you can see all these other things, we don't have them yet, but I'm gonna come over here to the winter parks and plazas and we're gonna utilize some of this. We're gonna add the snow park at the corner right there. And we're gonna put some of these down and then take a look at the size of them. And we're gonna add some roads to design this a little bit better. A couple ski lodges, maybe, maybe. Cross country skiing, which is the big one, which we'll put right there for now. And these campfires are sweet. All right, so we got enough of them laid out. We're going to take a look at it. I'm going to pause the game, pause the video, kind of think over where I want all these buildings, and then we'll get right into it. All right, I got a few ideas in my head. So we're going to start with these two-lane roads. We're going to upgrade a lot of them to them, but this two-lane road with trees on them, we're going to pull that out just a little bit like so, and we're going to see if this fits. I want it to be... I have an idea. All right, so we're gonna bring this road in like so. Get rid of that part. And then we're gonna grab this building here like that. So I think that will work good. It's kind of pretend like this is a, you know, like a little path to, to yeah, se separate little drive that gets you into here. And then it has its own parking. That's really cool. I like the way that looks. We're gonna add another road kind of sneaking up through 
And then we're going to grab these lodges and we're going to throw them right next to it. So this road kind of comes in and I think we're going to add, let's move these for now. We will put those in a long-term, long-term place, but let's spread this a little bit like that. Grab one about right here and then let's go back into the parks and we'll grab a few more of those lodges. Like that, like that. And this is going to do wonders to the value of the area. Why is it colored different? Do we have some natural resources right here? We do. Okay. Oh, well, we can we can add in some trees to make that look pretty, but I think that's a good start there. And then on this side, we'll have to do something similar. We'll come in just a little bit, go over, and hopefully we have enough room for that. Perfect, right up to the path there. Nice, and I think what we'll do is we'll extend this and see if this one fits as well. It might be a little bit longer. No, it's shorter. Very cool, so that fits in nice. And what that could do is when we Let's pre-plan a little bit of the expansion of the park as well. As the park upgrades, which is gonna take a little bit of time, let's get these paths back here. We can have a little path that goes, let's go straight. Let's go like right here and have some, some more buildings from the park right here, as well as doing that in this area, a little something like that, which will mix it up nice. And then also right here, like that. So now I want a nice grand, actually let's get rid of this. Cause I want these to stand out a little bit better than they do. So I'm going to grab my roads here. Ooh, we hit level two already, nice. We're gonna grab our roads here. Let's see if we can find one that works for this. I guess the trees is fine. And we're going to bring the road up like that. We're going to change the size of that road once we get this exactly how we want it. And let's put these across from each other. Very cool. Okay, so now let's get rid of a little bit of that road. But bring it out right there. So this gives us an opportunity to expand still with some of the regular city, city life park. I believe it's called City Park. What is this DLC called? I am drawing a blank. But the city parks here where we can do some paths like this and add some more of those regular park buildings, something like that as well, more over here as we upgrade. But that's a great start, I think. Yeah, that's gonna look really good when it's completely filled out. But again, we're gonna have to let it level up. Let's see where we're at for entertainment. This is similar to the Industries DLC where it has different uh, requirements to upgrade. So visitors to get to the next level, we need about 2,000 more visitors, and we gotta get the entertainment to 420. So let's go ahead and take a look at the building that was unlocked that we could use. One of them I think was water, that's not gonna work here. But we have this park chessboard, which how much entertainment does that give us? That gives us 70, as you see on there. So let's put this right in that spot. And I think that might have got us to that magic number. No, it didn't. So we need a couple more buildings. And some of them might just be filler buildings for now until we um, unlock the rest just to get us that entertainment value or the entertainment level high enough. So let's see what that did. That got us to 470, so that will get us to the next level to then unlock or four. Ooh, I wonder why that dropped. But 459 is enough, and then we just need to get some people visiting. And there's some tricks you could do to make it a tourist trap, make a the gate around the main road where people enter. We're not going to do that. We're going to let it naturally get there. We're going to do a little bit of detailing off camera and kind of show how it looks at the end. But that was a pretty quick little how to, how to use some vanilla non-DLC parks to spice up your uh, park city. I dig it. We'll be back in just a second. For the first time in Chillhorn Season 2, we have snow falling. I've, I remember to turn on the dynamic weather, turn it back on. So we are going to have to figure out how to handle all the snow as it gathers on the roads here in a little bit. But it's pretty neat. I hope it comes across good in the video and not just like staticky video or staticky screen. It looks pretty good as I'm staring at the recording. I think it'll look good, but this is how the park's coming along as we got some snow flurries coming in. So next episode, we'll probably take a look at how to handle that, but 
yeah, we added some trees. We didn't do too much detailing because I wanted to let that level up to level three and get some of those other buildings coming in. But I think that turned out pretty sweet. A uh, little ice skating rings here, some curling going on, some of the parks, cross country skiing here, some lodges for people to stay while they visit this park. And overall in the city, gosh, that looks cool. It looks neat. Everything's coming together. We need to do some detailing here, but we're pretty close with our tile ends right here. We have this section left to build and this one left to build on the first tile. We are very close. And next episode, we will definitely be buying our next tile and moving things on. Look at the road starting to fill with ice. Nice. We're going to have to take care of that so that the people don't get too upset and get their the snow cleared up so they can safely drive to work. But all right, I think that's going to sum up episode five. Thanks for hanging out. If you haven't already, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button so some other people in the community can see these cool videos as well and see how Chillhorn season two is coming along. I hope you're enjoying it. Again, I'm Socks Way Up. Thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you on the next one.